There's no escaping the fact FreeBSD has historically been seen as a rock-solid, trustworthy server operating system. But there's also the obviousness that most of the common open source desktop software can also run on FreeBSD. Many folks are therefore understandably using the solid base of FreeBSD to run their laptops and desktops. With laptops, though, Wi-Fi support has been a gripe for some time, with only old standards and slow speeds working out of the box. That's about to change. Next month, FreeBSD 14.3 is due to drop, and with it will come all the recent hard work that's been done to give laptop users a modern high-speed Wi-Fi experience. So what if, like me, you've just received a shiny new framework laptop and you're too impatient to wait just a month to get your hands on fast Wi-Fi. Well, we can build the upcoming 14.3 kernel and use it on our rock-solid 14.2 base. Compiling a kernel probably sounds quite daunting, but much to my surprise, I found it's not. So let's take a look at it. We have the source code checked out from git.freebsd.org. We're here in user source and we're on the stable 14 branch. Uh, when you first clone the code, it will be on the main branch. So you'll need to use git switch onto the stable 14 branch. We don't want to build on main because that will be building the kernel for FreeBSD 15. And you'll find that doesn't mesh very well with your 14.2 install. Whereas the 14.3 build that we're about to do will sit very nicely. So we can just kick off a make kernel. Uh, top tip here, uh, if you uh, want to spread it across all of the CPU cores, then you can use the nproc command, which will just output the number of cores, use minus j with it, and it will utilize every single core in your computer. So on this uh, framework laptop, that means 16 cores, and this build should take about three minutes. If you forget minus J, uh, like I did in a previous version, it will take about 15 minutes. Time to go make a quick coffee, and then come back to it to do the install of the kernel in just a moment. There we go, kernel built. So if we just do a make install kernel, that'll be ready for us to reboot to the new faster Wi-Fi. Oh, the Wi-Fi firmware is no longer in the source repository. So you have to run fwget uh, before you reboot. If you've been using the slow Wi-Fi up to now, the chances are that you already have this anyway. So it will probably yield absolutely nothing, but it's worth doing before you reboot because uh, if they're missing, you'll find you completely cut off. So let's reboot to our faster Wi-Fi and see what the difference is. Okay, so we've rebooted. We've got our shiny new kernel and flash fast Wi-Fi drivers. So if I take a look at the interface now, we should have five gigahertz connectivity. Nice. Now let's have a look at uh, a speed test, shall we? Now that's a little more like it, isn't it? There we go, much faster Wi-Fi. Now, 14.3 is due to drop later this month. So as of today, you're dealing with pre-release software. So although this is a relatively simple process, you should expect gripes and you may need to dig yourself out of some trouble. I've not had any, but caveat emptor, boot environments are your friend. FreeBSD 15 will include much more work on Wi-Fi improvements with further firmware and drivers available, but this update only affects the IWL Wi-Fi driver. This is the reason why my framework laptop, despite being an AMD, actually has the Intel Wi-Fi module. I ordered that as an optional extra. I'll leave links in the description below to that extra module in case you're ordering one too. Another thing to be aware of is if you're using graphics drivers, you'll most likely have to rebuild those too as they won't match the new kernel version. With the AMD framework laptop here, I had to download the ports collection and rebuild DRM-Kmod. Again, information in the description below and in the blog post that goes along with this video, that's also linked. 
If you have the patience to wait three or four weeks, then this will be part of the 14.3 install and you won't have to do any custom kernel building. So depending on your sense of adventure, the wait may or may not be what you want. Anyway, we're going to be doing further video drops after this one, uh, including taking the framework laptop all the way from zero to a desktop. So make sure you're subscribed to this channel and you can follow the blog in your favorite RSS reader. Links in the description below. Until next time, bye for now.